mighty world is all amazing. It's all awesome. And I'm a big fan of it. Not just a fan of IT world. I also advocate, I inspire people to get into the IT world. But a lot of people believe that IT world is all just about programming. No, it's not. It has tons of other great jobs, including design, networking, server management, to a whole bunch of other jobs but some of them are not so great. And it is my responsibility to make you aware that IT will also include some of the nasty jobs and you should be aware of it. Hey there everyone, Atish here, back again with another video and in this video, I want to address one big issue. This video is inspired by one of the recent video by Verge, which is a great channel to follow up any news and bunch of other things, including mobile reviews. Okay, so before I move ahead in this video, I'm going to give you some random examples in this video, which initially are not going to make much sense. But as we move forward, I'll attach all of them and you will have complete idea of how you should be careful, what you should look forward into a job and a bunch of other things as well. So let's get started. I'm the landscape you need to see. You are the artist I'll never be. I'm so sorry. Stay. First and foremost, I came to know about these, some of the not so good practices about the companies during my final year of graduation. During the final of year of graduation, most people are afraid of that what I'll be able to do, will I get a job or not? And during this anxiety and this fear, companies, big scale companies do take your advantage. And some of them, like startups are really amazing. They are great because they just openly say that you're going to be wearing a couple of hats and this is going to be a job and probably you'll do this and this also. So it's pretty clear that what is going to be your job, what is going to be the agenda of the company. But this is not the same case for variety of many bulk recruiters who just come into your college, gives you an aptitude test without taking any any test about your skills or anything, they just hire you. So what kind of job you do when you get hired in such kind of bulk recruiters? Now, I'm not saying that all of these bulk recruiters are just evil and bad. No, they are not. Some of them are really amazing. But some of them just hire you without mentioning your job profile or the software stack on which you'll be working or where even you will be working. They just say, we will let you late know about it later on and some of them even let you to sign a non-disclosure agreement so that you cannot talk about your work outside the workplace and sometimes it's not so great. Okay, many of you are aware of the situation that internet is not just all rainbows and sunshines and unicorns. It is sometimes full of some of the disturbing things as well. A lot of hateful videos, a hateful comments in the YouTube section, on the Twitter trolls. It just is full of it. And whenever we hit the button or report these things, there is somebody who is checking out whether your report was good or not. And eventually when enough triggers are being made, somebody is there to review all these stuff. Hey, machine learning enthusiast, just stay down for a minute. I know you might be thinking, hey, just automate all these things, use machine learning models and just stay there for a minute. Let me talk about that. So yes, given the fact that we do have state of the art technology right now, but still a lot of people just do these reviews manually for advertisement, for harmful content, for adult content, and some of the very, very disturbing content. Now just imagine this scenario. Now imagine if you have to read one hateful comment or or just watch one hateful video. You might be saying, ah, it's okay. Or if I just say watch 10 hateful videos for a day or read 10 hateful comments. What about 100? What about 1000 videos every single day that you have to watch? And all of these videos are so hateful. Mother killing the baby, somebody beating up the dog, somebody just choking down a young baby. Some of them are just abuse, totally pure abuse. Now you have started to get worried. Even if 100 hateful comments come on to channels of anybody on a YouTube videos or anybody, the creator gets too much disturbed on that because that is too much of the hate to just see that. I'm pretty lucky that I don't get that much of the hate on this channel because people are very mature, uh, very, very respectful on this channel. If they don't like anything, they just move away. And that's the very mature thing to do. If you don't like something, just block him, unsubscribe him, dislike his video, go away. But putting up these hateful comment is something, something, a very, very uh, annoying thing. Let's come back onto the topic. 
So there are jobs in almost all of these content companies, content companies like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Google, and a bunch of other platforms where there are dedicated content moderators whose job is to simply watch videos every single day and to just flag them as appropriate or inappropriate. And that's a very, very stressful job. Now, most of these jobs are not being done inside the companies itself. Usually these jobs are outsourced to the companies. And yes, you know, most of these bulk recruiters who recruit the engineers without worrying about their talent or anything, they just recruit those engineers and they're known for these kinds of outsourcing. Facebook, YouTube, Google, all of them outsource these kinds of things. And even in the Verge, uh, Verge video, which I'll link in the description section, they talk more about these moderator jobs. But on the other hand, I have personally met over years ago a person who was in the village and was leading the team of 12 people about moderating the advertisement content of the Facebook. Whole day they were verifying that uh, is it adult content or not and all of them. The reason why I didn't talk about that earlier because he said that hey I can lose my job please don't do it. But now the Verge has done it I can actually freely talk about it. Now imagine yourself in a job where your every single day is just to watch these hateful content. It can lead you to becoming yourself as a psychopath or a sociopath. It is really, really stressful job. And on top of that, if you'll notice in that video, they are going to be talking about the work condition. They are given just 30 minutes of a break uh, for lunch and then two 15 minutes break. That's it. And all the time you have to keep on looking on the screen. It looks like kind of a Nazi torture. But yes, that is their job. Yes, I know the situation is pretty insane and it's really sad that internet is full of such a, so much of the hateful content that somebody needs to moderate that. So what does we come into? What picture we are fitting into? What we can do to help this situation? So as I say always, the first step to solve any problem or any issue is to accept, yes, that there is a problem. Acceptance is the step one. But since the content and the audience on this channel is so much mature that I can request you something, that at least we can take a very, very minor step in the forward and right direction to just stop these hateful content. I know I'm pretty sure it's not going to make a huge impact, but even if it makes a small impact, that is going to be awesome. So as an amazing programmer, as a very mature audience of the internet, it's our responsibility and I urge you to do three things. Step number one, write down in the comment section, hashtag stop hate on internet and make this as a kind of a trendy thing on Twitter or anywhere. Just write a small post that you should not post hateful comment or anything and just post down in the comment section or wherever your reach is, hashtag stop hate on internet. Step number two that I ask you to do is if you don't like anybody's content instead of being absolutely mean in the comment section or just trying to post any such content or anywhere there, please don't do that. It's my request to all of you. I know most of you don't do it, but still just for five or two percent of that, please don't do it. And step number three, which is the biggest one. I know everybody has some kind of network reach and audience. Try to educate more people about it. Yes, that these kinds of jobs do exist. It's very stressful and it's not a good idea to post hateful and meanful content in the format of video, audio or comments anywhere on any platform. Most of the people who do these kinds of things are less educated in the form of social life as well as how the social etiquette should be. So your job is also to educate those person. One the good thing that you can do is share this video so that they get aware of all these situation. So spread out the world and make sure you let as many people around you to know that stop spreading hate on internet. I will link down in the description section the video of The Verge that I highly recommend you to check out. They have interviewed the actual people who were doing these kinds of job and one of the company they have openly mentioned the name is Cognizant uh, who was doing these mass recruits and such horrible condition to work in. But again, there are lots of others which I would not like to name them but I'm pretty aware of them. See, the IT internet entire thing is an amazing thing, but with too much power comes too much of the responsibility as well. And I hope you have learned something from this video, which is going to help you to become a better person and live a better life. That's it for this video. My name is Atesh. In case you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and I'm going to surely catch you up in the next video. The 
That means we've been here before 